We are going to look at the uh, computer architecture, the von Neumann architecture, and the fetch decode execute cycle, which can often cause a, quite a lot of confusion. So, first of all, let's look at the, this really basic uh, architecture of a computer. So we've got uh, input, a CPU that processes uh, whatever data is input, and then output. And that's about it. Now, this is so the, the, uh, the architecture of a very old machine, uh, probably the 1940s, where the uh, user, the operator, would input data, it would be processed and output immediately. And in 1945, uh, von Neumann uh, had the idea of a, the stored program computer, whereby there would be a memory uh, connected to the computer connected to the CPU, uh, uh, which could communicate both instructions, program instructions, and data uh, to be processed, and also store data that had been processed. And this is what we describe as the von Neumann architecture. Now, there's also the Harvard architecture, which uh, separates out memory uh, into two component parts, which is um, data and instructions stored separately. Um, but this is the, the, the basic idea is the same. Okay, so what happens when you start, uh, when you click on a, an icon, you, you start a computer program running, start to, uh, the instructions executing? Well, if we have uh, a look at here, yeah, the program is stored into the main memory. Now we have memory locations, these are numbers uh, to identify the, that, those memory locations. Um, the data and instructions are stored within those memory locations. And then in the CPU, we have a number of components, uh, a number of registers, uh, which is very fast uh, types of memory, um, and um, other components that perform the actual uh, calculations, perform the magic that makes computers do the awesome things that they do. So here we've got the program counter, the memory data register, the memory address register, the current instruction register, control unit, accumulator, and the arithmetic logic unit, which is the bit that does the actual calculations. Okay, so it, let's look at a, an example. Um, and um, I'll just get rid of that. Um, so here we've got a, a simple program that's being loaded into our uh, memory. Starting at memory location one, we've got load five, add six, store seven, stop. And then we've got five and three. Now this is, these are the data items that are gonna be used by this program when it's executing. Okay, so what happens when the processor runs through this fetch decode execute cycle? Well, first off, we need to start somewhere. We start at the beginning. So the program counter stores the instruction, it stores the location of the next instruction to be executed. So we start off, that is set to one. Okay, so now we copy that address into the memory address register. And the data stored within memory location one is now loaded into the memory data register. We know that we want to get that instruction from uh, location one, so it's load five. So load five is loaded. Okay. And that's then copied into the current instruction register. Okay. At this point, the program counter is incremented to uh, continue pointing at the next instruction or the location of the next instruction to be executed. Right, so this then is loaded into the control unit to be decoded and to be uh, be executed. Okay, so uh, that's copied into here. Load five. Now we if, if control unit sends a, a, a load or copy instruction to saying we need to copy data from memory location five. We need to copy that address location into the memory address register. Okay, and then that, is, that data is copied into the memory data register. Uh, and then that is loaded into the accumulator. And then we've completed that instruction. We've loaded the value from memory location five into 
the accumulator. So now we go to our next instruction, which is add six. So we first of all, we need to update the memory address register to reflect what is in the program counter. Okay, and uh, we copy into the memory data register the content. Okay, that is then copied into the current instruction register. So the content of location two has been copied. And now we increment the program counter because we want to point at the next instruction. Okay, that is then moved into the control unit to be uh, decoded there and executed. So we've got add uh, six, I've got six, what is yeah, six, add six. So add memory location six. So we need to uh, get the data from memory location six. So we have to update the memory address register to say we're accessing memory location six. That then copies that data into the memory data register. So we've got three. Okay. And it's an add instruction, so it, we, we need to pass the contents of the accumulator and this data into the ALU. So we get three plus five. And then that passes the result of that calculation back to the accumulator, so we've got eight there. Okay. And now that part of the uh, cycle is finished. So we go on to the next, which is program count has been set to three, so we have to update the memory address register to reflect that. We are then copying the store, store seven instruction. That's copied into the current instruction register. Per program counter is incremented. Okay, then we update this store seven. The control unit now knows, right? I, we've got a store instruction and we need to store two memory location seven. So we store it, we're, and we're storing whatever is in the accumulator, the result of this um, calculation. So we copy memory location seven into here because we want to store it into memory into the memory address register um, we want to copy our number eight into the memory data register and then this will store that will carry out that instruction so we'll store uh, the value eight here in memory location seven. We've completed that instruction, we've executed that instruction, so now we go to the program counter and uh, it contains four, that's copied to the memory address register. The memory address register copies the stop instruction, which is then passed on to the current instruction register, the PC should increment and the control unit then interprets that, decodes it, executes it saying we need to, at this point we stop um, and we hand uh, control back over to the operating system. And that's the fetch decode execute cycle. Um, I hope that's been useful. Um, thank you for listening.